Today, we're diving into the sizzling hot rumors surrounding Samsung's upcoming flagship, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Stick around because you won't want to miss what's in store. It seems like just yesterday, we were getting our hands on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but the rumor mill never sleeps, and now it's buzzing with anticipation for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. So what can we expect from Samsung's next big release? First up, let's talk about the specs. According to reliable sources, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could come in three different configurations, offering users a range of options when it comes to RAM and storage, from 12 gigabytes RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage to a hopping 16 gigabytes RAM with either 512 gigabytes or one TB of storage, Samsung is aiming to cater to power users and enthusiasts alike. But what about battery life and performance? Well, it looks like Samsung is sticking with the trusty 5000 mAh battery that we've seen in previous Ultra models. However, there's a twist. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to feature battery AA, a clever use of artificial intelligence to squeeze out an extra 5% to 10% of runtime from the battery. And let's not forget about the powerhouse under the hood, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor. With a redesigned CPU core, Samsung is gunning for top-notch performance that could rival even Apple's latest offerings. Now onto what's perhaps the most exciting aspect of any smartphone, the camera. Leaked images and insider information suggest that Samsung is shaking things up with the camera setup on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. According to a tweet from at Isox81, Samsung is already testing prototypes of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it seems like they're making some bold moves. Instead of the usual four rear cameras, the S25 Ultra is rumored to sport just three. A main primary camera, a telescopic camera with a periscope lens, and an ultra-wide camera. But don't worry, you're not losing out on functionality. Samsung is confident that the new primary camera can deliver 3x optical zoom with the same or even better quality than before. Plus, they're experimenting with variable zoom for the periscope camera, offering two fixed focal lengths to enhance your photography experience. With all these rumors flying around, it's hard not to get excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra. From upgraded specs to a revamped camera setup, Samsung seems poised to deliver another winner. But remember, these are just rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. We'll have to wait until the official reveal to see what the S25 Ultra is truly capable of. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech news and rumors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, 
making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second generation three nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be the first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256 gigabytes version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.